Hello, so in this video we're going to talk about some celestial mechanics. Um, we're going to assume circular orbits just because it makes it easier for us. Um, in the center here is the Sun, um, this planet is the Earth, and these are just two planets. Um, so planet 1, and basically any planets that orbit closer to the Sun than the Earth, these planets are called inferior planets. And then any planet that orbits further away, like planet 2, is a superior planet. Okay. Notice from the Earth's point of view, an angle is made between the Sun and the planet. Oh, here we go. Um, this angle we're going to represent with epsilon, and this epsilon is called the elongation between two planets. There are some elongation values that have their own names. When the elongation is 180 degrees, we call this opposition. When it is 90 degrees, we call this quadrature. And when this angle is zero degrees, we call this conjunction. The next thing I'm going to talk about are periods, which is essentially um, the amount of time it takes for a system to return to a certain state. Um, the two that, that we care about are called sidereal and synodic periods. So a sidereal period is the time it takes for a full rotation of the sun. And a synodic period is the time it takes for a planet to reach the same position relative to the Earth. So for example, a synodic period would be the time it takes for a planet to go from one opposition to the next relative to Earth. So we know that Earth orbits around the Sun, it completes a full revolution in one year. So we can say that it travels 2 pi radians in E, where E is equal to 365.25 days. Any other planet is moving with an angular speed of 2 pi radians over p, where p is equal to the sidereal period of the planet. Let's now say that s is equal to the synodic period for a superior planet. We can now say that the superior planet traveling from B to C along this route makes some angle X. We can now say that for the Earth to travel from, from these points will make some angle Y, but the time will be different. For the superior planet, the superior planet will travel this angle in S times 2 pi over P. For the Earth to travel this same angle, it's not going to have to travel as far. So that we can say then that y is equal to s minus e times 2 pi over e. Since these angles are equivalent, we can say that s times 2 pi over p is equal to s minus e 2 pi over e. Rearranging this equation, we get that s over p equals s over e minus 1, because this is e over e. Now if we divide everything by s, we get that 1 over p equals 1 over e minus 1 over s. And this here is the equation to link both sidereal and synodic periods for a superior planet. For an inferior planet, the only difference is that these two values here are added together, not subtracted. Please join me in the next video where I discuss Kepler's three laws of planetary motion. I hope to see you there.